Hi guys, happy Sunday. So I was uh, just finished a recording uh, of a, for a training and I was about to do my podcast for this week. And my training was on um, a topic uh, much like this. It's, it's getting ready to get ready. And I think this is something that uh, every entrepreneur, every network marketer has experienced in their life. And it's one of those things where when people can affirm to stop it, nothing's going to get in your way. So, uh, hey, Jay. Hi, Steph. Hi, Meg. Good to see you guys coming on. So say hi and where you're coming in from. And I just want to have just a, a, a very real and genuine conversation with you guys. Um, and, and I'm going to give you three reasons why and three things that you can do to move past this getting ready to get ready. Hi, Janeth. Good to see you coming on. Hi, Sherry. So the thing is, is getting ready to get ready is something that we've all been paralyzed with at some point. So type Y or yes in the chat box, either if you're on here live or on the replay. Type Y or yes if you have ever found yourself getting ready to get ready. You're talking yourself out of things or into things and you know, you're, you're double dutching it in network marketing. You're in one day, you're out the next, you're busy one day, you're productive the next, all these things. So Jay says yes. So, and Stephanie says yes, and, and you guys aren't alone. So I, I, I'm, I'm glad the people that are on here um, are, uh, Charles, good to see you. Uh, I'm glad the, the people that are saying yes are being transparent because I want you guys to understand that you're not alone. I, I'm a yes included. You know, I, I get ready to get ready sometimes, and it's, it's normal. But what I can tell you is that, you know, what's helped me is that I, I committed to not letting that happen anymore. But here's what I want you guys to understand. Number one, the, the, the one thing that starts this trend of getting ready to get ready is fear. Your fear. You know, you're, you're afraid of the unknown. You're afraid of failing. You're afraid of what other people may think. You're afraid of getting uncomfortable. Your fear of the past. Your fear of the future. Fear will paralyze you, and it has you in that modality of getting ready to get ready, where you're taking two steps forward and then three steps back. And I want you guys to understand that it's normal but we have to get serious at some point. If, if you're telling yourself that you're a professional network marketer, ask yourself that question, am I doing everything that is required to be a network marketer? Am I, am I playing at, at a 10? Am I all in? Am I giving it my best? And this is the thing, no matter what your business is, if you find yourself getting ready to get ready, you're not allowing that wheel to turn. It's never going to spin. And if you can't get that momentum of your business going, how do you expect to travel down the road to succeeding what you're looking for? So if that all makes sense so far, type Y or yes in the chat box. And again, what I want the people on here that are doing, uh, to do right now is a little bit of accountability. Type in the chat box and you can do a little bit of a brain dump with me. You can do this live or on the replay. Type in some of the things that you're afraid of. What are you fearful of? What has you most afraid in your network marketing business? So what are some of the things that you're afraid of? So for me, I was afraid of what other people would think. I was afraid that if I didn't know everything, that I wouldn't be successful, but I was also afraid of failing. Those were the top three things that I was afraid of. So Stephanie has a fear of failure. And Steph, what I can tell you is that the more often you fail, the more often you learn how to succeed. So remember, failing is really, really good. And Jay says what they will say, and Jay to that, 
the thoughts and opinions of others do not have to become who you are. They're not paying your bills. They're not living your life. You are. So what other people say doesn't matter and it shouldn't have bearing on you. And Meg says, never succeeding. And Meg, the only, the only way you will never succeed is if you facilitate in your mind, I'm never going to succeed because your thoughts dictate your actions. So if you have thoughts of never succeeding, your actions will then represent that. And Meg says also, rejection. Well, without rejection, you can't move yourself forward because not everyone is gonna say yes. And going back to my favorite book, Go For No, those that get the most no's are gonna get the most yeses because it's gonna lead you to moving in the right direction. And Janet says, don't know everything. And you don't have to know everything. And that's what I realized. When I realized that I didn't have to know everything, I only had to know what I knew and I can learn the rest along the way, I grew my business in, in more peace and ease. And Meg says, saying the wrong thing. And Meg, you can't say the wrong thing to the wrong person. You can't say the right thing to the right person. And again, these are all thoughts. These are all thoughts that we have in our head. And, and I talk about it all the time that the six inches between our ears will either hurt you or help you. And Jose says, failing, falling flat on my face and not succeeding. Well, again, I'll come back to something that, that Les Brown says, is that if you, if you fall and you get knocked down, which is going to happen, if you can look up, you can get up. So as long as you can see the sky above you when you fall, all you have to do is get back up and try again. That's all you have to do. You have to keep trying. You got to keep moving forward. You got to keep failing forward. Thank you, Meg. Uh, Leanne, Jason, Angela, uh, the other Leanne, good to see people jumping on here. So again, number one, fear stops you. Number two, just remember that doing a little of something is always better than doing a lot of nothing. And that really helped me because we talk about the compounded effect. And what I can tell you is that it, it, you don't have to take massive action every day. Some days you take massive action, other, day, other days you take small amounts of action, but the way that you get the compounded effect to take place is when you take those small daily actions compounded over time. And just remember, a little bit of something is always better than doing a lot of nothing. And this is nothing new to you guys, but it's up to you all to affirm that you're never going to let this happen again. And hey, Sharon, hey, Tar, because everyone's getting ready to get ready. But, you know, the, the two first things that I said, you know, fear leads to getting ready to get ready. And number two, doing a little of something is always better than doing a lot of nothing because everyone thinks if they're not, they're not hitting it hard every single day that it's not going to happen. And that's fine. But here's the other thing. And this is actually this third thing is probably the most important thing that you guys need to understand when it relates to getting ready to get ready. And that is understanding that there is no perfect time. There is no perfect time. And I hear this all the time from people. You know, I'm a teacher, so, you know, um, I'm, let me wait till the school year starts again and I get back into the rhythm, or let me wait till the summer's over so the kids are back in school. You know, let me wait till, you know, after vacation. Let me wait till this. You know, here's the deal. Network marketing and the opportunity that it presents, it doesn't wait. It's all about who gets to who first. It doesn't wait. There, everyone takes time off and vacation for the summer. All teachers are getting ready to go back to school. All parents are getting ready to have their kids get ready to go back to school. But that's your choice. And here's what I understand. And this is something that Nancy actually helped me with. And we were talking about people will always make time for what is important to them. Always. So if those certain things that you're doing in your life right now, you know, your kids, your family, getting ready for work, whatever it is, those are important to you. You make time for them no matter what. But then when it comes to your network marketing business, why should that be any different? 
because it's your business? If it's important to you, you need to treat it that way because I'm just going to let you guys know, no matter where you are in your network marketing business, whether you're just starting out or you've been in it for a couple of years, there's always going to be birthday parties. There's always going to be graduations. There's always going to be saving up for your kids' college tuition. There's always going to be summer breaks. There's always going to be winter breaks. There's always going to be Christmas breaks. There's always going to be deaths in the family. There's going to be illnesses. There's going to be vacations. All of those things are going to happen. That is called life. But at the end of the day, if you're serious about growing your business, if you're serious about growing yourself, if you're serious about being a professional network marketer, and Eric Worre talks about it all the time, there's either amateurs or professionals. And Stephanie says it's hard to make it important when you, are get, when you aren't getting anywhere with it. But again, Steph, I'm going to come back to this. That is your thought about what is going on. Everyone, and, and, and I understand because you feel like you're not getting any traction. You're not getting any enrollments. You know, you're not cycling. You're not making any money. So you're like, well, well here's the thing. And I, I say this to people all, all the time, and I'm Steph, I'm going to say it to you. There's millions of ways of how to succeed in network marketing, and there's only one way to fail, and that's to quit. So the law of numbers are on your side. But everyone, again, has these preconceived thoughts about, well, I'm going to get success when, and it's going to take me this long. And then when it doesn't happen in, in the year or two years or six months or however long you think it's going to happen, you have this notion of all these people are going to say yes, and then they don't. Then you feel like you've done something wrong. No, that's called entrepreneurship. That's called network marketing. You are going to hear a hundred times more no's than you will yes. But as long as you focus on what's important to you, reaching out to new people each day, you know, um, making this business, the products that you're a part of, a part of your life, looking to make new connections and new relationships, not being attached to the outcome, not comparing yourself to others, staying in your own lane, you're going to succeed. But again, Steph, when you say it's, it's, it's hard to make it important when you, you're not getting anywhere, if you refacilitate re that feeling every day, I'm waking up and I'm not getting anywhere today, nothing's going to happen, nothing's going to change, how is that going to lead to you taking any action? It's not because you're refacilitating a negative thought about your journey, which means I'm not going to take it seriously because it hasn't worked now. What's going to make it work today? But every day is a new day in network marketing. So you don't know what new conversation is going to happen. So you have to make sure that your best self shows up every single day. And there is no perfect time. And for those that have worked with me, I have always told you this. It, in network marketing, it's who gets to who first. It's who gets to who first. So if this is all making sense, type Y or yes in the chat box. And, and I have one more thing for you guys to do, and we did this a few weeks ago. And I want you guys to do it again. And I'm, I'm going to hold you accountable. And exactly, you just need a brain reset sometimes, Steph. That's all it is. So here's the deal. I want you guys to commit with me, whoever's on here live and on the replay. Type in the chat box if you are ready to commit to not getting ready to get ready anymore. You are ready to take those little steps each and every day, no matter what is thrown on your plate. Type in the chat box, I commit. Now, for those that write, I commit, what I want you to do is you're going to get an index card or a little piece of paper. And on that index card or a piece of paper, you are going to write on it, I am no longer going to get ready to get ready. I am going to succeed. You're going to write that. I am no longer going to get ready to get ready. I am going to succeed. You're going to write that on an index card or a little piece of paper. 
and those that took part in my exercise a few weeks ago, there's a, there's a, there should already be something on your bathroom mirror, but if you didn't, you're going to take this piece of paper, you are going to tape it to your bathroom mirror so you can look at it every single morning to refacilitate that you are not going to get ready to get ready anymore. And Jose says, distractions are always there to the left and to the right. Sometimes you just have to put on the blinders and make the time. That's exactly right. So what you're going to do is you're going to tape it to your mirror. And for accountability purposes, I want you guys to take a, a picture of that. Take a selfie of your commitment statement that's saying, I am no longer going to get ready to get ready. I am going to succeed. And at 930 Eastern Standard Time which is in about 40 minutes from now, you are going to post it on Facebook and you are going to tag me in it. And you're going to take a picture of it and you're going to put, you know, on there, I am no longer going to get ready to get ready. I am going to succeed. And you're going to tag me in that post. And if you guys can commit to that for accountability purposes, type in the chat box, I will. And whoever types I will, I will be expecting you guys to post at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time that piece of paper, that index card with your commitment statement with me tagged in it because we have to hold each other accountable. Actions always speak louder than words. So I want you guys to write it. I want you to look at it every single day. I want you to commit to it. But most importantly, I want you to embody it every single day <laughs> that was really funny so anyway for those that are going to commit you said you've committed and you're going to type in i will and i will look for that commitment post at 9 30 eastern standard time and just remember and i know jay will so just remember the three things that really stop you and continue to refacilitate the getting ready to get ready is your fear, is you're just doing nothing, but always doing a little of something is better than doing a lot of nothing and realizing there is no perfect time. You just have to do the do every single day. So guys, I hope this talk helped you and will also encourage you and inspire you to not get ready to get ready anymore and live and achieve the best life possible. So remember, those that are willing, index card or piece of paper, and you're gonna write on it, I am not going to get ready to get ready anymore. I am going to succeed. You're gonna paste it, you're gonna take it, um, you're gonna tape it to your bathroom mirror, take a picture of it, post it at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight, saying that same thing in a post with the picture and tagging me in it for accountability. Guys, love and gratitude to you all. Have a great Sunday, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.